Well, gang, it was bound to happen eventually. <laughs> You're super graceful. We have our first bottle calf on the ranch. Guys, I'd like to introduce you to number 22. This is our first bottle calf on the ranch, a little boy, just had to check, a little boy, and uh, he will be spending the rest of his time here on the ranch as our best friend. We're gonna feed him, we're gonna take care of him, make sure he's healthy, and watch him grow into a full-grown calf before he goes to auction, uh, probably the beginning of next year. We're gonna have lots of time to get to know him. Officially, his number is 22, the 22nd born calf on the ranch, but we're gonna have to come up with a name. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and comment. Leave a name for the calf and you will get entered in. We will do that here in the next couple days. You can come out of here, bud. You're kind of stuck back there, aren't you? Can you get out? Oh my gosh, you're big. All right. <laughs> Well, that's not bad, is it? You can kind of just relax in there. Whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, number 22 weighs about 75 pounds, which makes him a little bit of a trick uh, to move around. You can do it. Take a step. There we go. All right, as I was saying, uh, number 22 here weighs about 75, 80 pounds, uh, right in that range. Very healthy calf, seems to be doing great, um, but unfortunately he is gonna be a bottle calf. His mom, great mom, but she has one or more big problems. Number 78. She's our mastitis cow. You may remember her from a video that has over a million views on YouTube, and that's called Massive Bovine Mastitis. She was diagnosed with mastitis last year. Um, she ended up having a calf. She had peanut. We took peanut away from her, and we raised peanut as a bottle calf. Now, the thing was that she was actually supposed to be sold uh, when we preg checked, and somehow she squeaked through. Then we realized we still had her out here. She was pregnant. We gave her a massive dose of antibiotics trying to quell the uh, mastitis that she's been dealing with for years. And it didn't work. She ended up having her calf this morning. Number 22. Number 22 then got a chance to stay with his mom for a few hours, get a drink, um, get some of that colostrum that we definitely want uh, those uh, baby cows to have from their moms. But unfortunately, we can't leave him with his mom. His mom's milk will eventually become too infected. Uh, she won't have enough milk. She'll have all kinds of issues. And we're better off to just take him off and take care of him by ourselves. Nope, 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 nope. Hey, settle, hey, nope. Settle, hey, settle down. I know this sucks. But you know what? You're not the only one that it sucks for, okay? We'll get you in here. Let's just get her done. <laughs> Luckily, we like having bottle calves. Bottle calves can be fun they can play, and they can hang out with folks, and they can teach people about where their food comes from, and that cows aren't some mysterious animal that we have to tiptoe around, that they're actually creatures that we take care of. So, uh, first things first, we know that this guy probably got a drink from mom. We know he got some colostrum, which is great, um, but we are going to give him some more and uh, we're going to give him a uh, colostrum supplement uh, that i have right over there somewhere can you hang out here are you okay you're okay as for mom uh this year i think she definitely probably needs to go uh, the mastitis isn't getting any better no matter how much antibiotics we give her and over the next couple weeks what milk she does have will actually dry out and uh 
she will go back to normal. She'll go back to her regular life out here on the ranch until probably preg checking, at which time we'll sort her back off and, and get rid of her then, be sold at auction. Kind of a crappy end for a cow that's, uh, that's, that's produced a lot for the ranch, but unfortunately, at this point, really what she's making is a lot of work. Bottle calves are expensive to keep. Um, they, the food that we feed them, the powdered milk that they get, costs $70, $70 for a 50, 50 pound bag. So over time, they eat a lot of, of food. That, of course, equates to money, and of course, time that goes into them as well. We like to have a bottle calf every year just because we have harvest hosts that visit the ranch. They get the chance to tour, and it's nice to have them um, kind of really get in touch with a calf and, and being able to touch the calf and feed the calf and, and, and be there with it is a, is a great experience for most of those guys and a, and a real uh, link to agriculture for them. So we are, as of right now, going to make a bottle for this calf. But first I have to grab the colostrum. This is OptiPrime uh, colostrum, 150 uh, grams of uh, globulin protein, which is what we're really looking for when we get into our, into our uh, colostrum and our colostrum supplements. The higher that number is, the better it is. I did call our vet um, just a few minutes ago. You may remember her from preg checking, Dr. Trimble. Girls, could be pregnant. And I got a chance to talk to her about what we should do with that little guy. Um, I, my big thing was, does he need antibiotics uh, right away? With his mom having mastitis, did he get milk that could have uh, bacteria in it or anything else? Do we need to worry about an antibiotic? And her answer was no, um, that we could just let him go. We're gonna give him, give him colostrum uh, and a colostrum supplement. Hopefully he got cl some colostrum from mom. We're gonna let him go and kind of keep track of how he's doing and make sure that he's able to uh, uh, hopefully not need any antibiotics, but if he does, we'll be there for him also. So let's grab ourselves some milk here. We're gonna see if we can get him to drink a bottle for us. And we'll head over and get him some food. And apparently he's hungry because he's looking in the fridge. Hey. Anything in there you want? Do you want some milk? Here. Ooh, there we go. That's good stuff right there. All gone. You drank the whole bottle. You drank it all gone, all by yourself. You did, I didn't help you or nothing. Yeah, I know. I know, you drank it all gone. Okay, so you ready to go see your new house for a little bit? Do you wanna go back and hang out in your house? Okay, let's do that. Okay. So what our thought is, is we're actually gonna take him and put him in the barn for right now. Uh, we've got some heaters in the barn that'll keep him warm and, uh, and then we'll be able to check on him periodically and make sure that he's okay. Hi, hi, hi buddy, hi, yeah, hello. Ready to go? Okay, let's see if he'll follow us. You coming? All right, so number 18, little number 18 right here, who was in the barn, is now getting evicted Mom is right over there, as you can see, hanging out. So, but she's just getting evicted from her little hotel room here. And that's where we're gonna stash little 22 for now. Hey, Mama, take your baby away. You guys can leave if you'd like. Go ahead, take her out. I know, it's probably nicer in here. But you gotta learn how to be an outside cow. Okay, come on, not me. I'm not your mom. There you go, that's your mom. Okay, no, not me, go to your mom. 
No, no, no. Hey. Go to your mom. Okay, well, I think we got that straightened out. I don't know. These cows like me. Okay, you ready to go? You wanna go down and see your house? You ready? I don't know, here comes trouble. Somebody doesn't wanna leave. Don't make me call the sheriff's department. Would it make you feel better if I carried you? Oh no. Um, I don't know what your calf's doing, okay? Your calf needs to go, but she's causing trouble. Tell your calf to go home, go with you. Okay? This is my calf. This isn't your house anymore. But it's warm and nice in here. Of course it is. All right, mom. What are you gonna do? Time to do some parenting. Parent your calf. Okay. You know what? We really want to put her in a stall with a heater. So, since you guys are being turds, um, we are going to put her, this little girl, this little boy, sorry, into this stall, which I will need to, hey, that's not your baby. I'll need to go and get some straw and stuff to put in here. But we can turn on the heat somewhere, wherever the switch is. There it is. Turn on the heat. There seems to be some calf color confusion. That's your baby on that side. This is my baby over here. Okay? All right, you're going in this stall for now. It's not really, the room's not made yet, so I gotta go in. Hey, no, not your baby. That one is your baby. Go to see your baby. I'll be right back with some straw for you. You can take a nap. You need to relax and deal with your calf. Now who's here? April. April, what are you doing here? Hey, everybody's coming to see the new baby. Hi, April. Oh, she's not coming in. All right, and April's mom's out there too. All right, I'm gonna go grab some straw get this kid put to bed for a little bit. All righty, kiddo. All right, bedding down, heater's going. That'll keep you nice and toasty. And the only thing left to do is get you some water. So we'll go do that. All righty, kiddo. Just a bucket of water here. See? Okay, so I'll just leave this here. You can just rest a little bit. Yeah, take a little nap. And I'll come back and check on you in a little while, okay? All right. Good, good, good. Hey, take care of your baby over here. How's that sound? I don't know. All right, let's uh, come back in just a few and check things out and see how they're doing. All righty, guys, the kids are home from school. Uh, they have no idea that we have calves in the barn, especially our brand new bottle calf. So I'm gonna get them and then Lincoln and I are gonna go out for a very special treat and go out and see a new calf that was born just a few minutes ago. Hey guys. 
How are you? Hey. How are you guys? Hey. Can you guys come over here? Gather in. How was school? Good. School was good? Okay. We are going to go over to the barn. I have a very special surprise for you in the barn. Bambi. Bambi? You think Bambi's in the barn? Why would Bambi be in the barn? Because I love her. Oh, okay. Well, it's not Bambi. Aww. Okay. You guys ready? Yes. All right. Let's go. Come on in here. Come down this way. Now in here, in here, we have, this is bathtub cow. This is the one that was in the bathtub yesterday. She's right there. See her? Yeah. See her? Now her mom's a little cranky. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, let's just leave her alone for right now. Well, the gate was open so she could go out, but I closed it when you guys came in here. But she's kind of cranky, right? She doesn't want to be here. But come here. Hey, come here, guys. Let's go over here. Because over here, we have a special treat. What do you think it is? Bottle cap. You are correct. Wait, who's cow? Mass I just cow. Yes. Boy, you're staying on top of things. Yeah, look at you go. Girl or boy? It is a boy. Yay! Another boy. Another boy, yeah. He's very tired. He, is he number two, guys. Number 22. You're so cute. What do you think, Grace? Cute. Cute. What number is he? 22. No, number 22. But he does not have a name yet. So here's what I'm thinking. He needs a name, okay? So we are going to let people on this video, they're, if they're subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and then comment what you think this calf's name would be, okay? Then we are going to pick the top four names, and then we're going to put them on Facebook for people to vote on whatever this guy's name will be. Now, this is a bottle calf, so he's going to be with us for quite a while and hanging out, so... You mean like the most common hit name on the video are liked? Yep. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a poll, okay? okay? So the four the four ones that are on the top. The four that are the most popular. Yep. Gotta okay. make it ew. I want yeah. to suck on my fingers. Yeah, remember the kittens used to go back? Yeah, we used to have kittens that would go back there. Alrighty. So that so does that make sense? We're gonna pick out we're gonna pick out a name for this guy based on the comments. Yeah. And then we're gonna do a poll on Facebook. Uh -huh. Sound good? Yeah. Not too confusing. Well, he's sleepy. He wants to take a nap. He's still sleepy. He's resting on my hand. He's resting on your hand? Yeah. He was born, I don't know, four or five hours ago, something like that. When Yeah. Okay. Do you guys want to say goodbye to him? No. No? Later. <laughs> Later. Later. Okay. Let's go. Let's leave them alone. We got to let that other cow back out because she's pretty cranky. She, she does not want to be in here. She's over there circling around her calf. So let's leave this guy alone to rest some more. So now we have a bottle calf, guys. You know what that means. Take care of him. Take care of him. Lots of work, Grace. Yeah. Lots of baby feeding. That's right, Lincoln. Don't we feed him like two times a day? Yeah, it means you guys got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to get up first. <laughs> Five o'clock in the morning and come out and feed him. Isn't that right, Grace? Grace, do you want to get up at five o'clock in the morning and come and feed him? Yeah. I need your help with something. Okay, so you're go get on the four-wheeler. You're gonna go with me for a trip. <laughs> We're gonna go for a little drive, okay? Yes, we are going to go over in the cow field. There's Bambi.
Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's this, Lincoln? Who's this? 184. Do you remember who 184 belongs to? Mm -hmm. That's your cow? And she had a little baby? Do you have a clean a baby? Yeah, she's got to clean it still. She had it over here in the yeah. in the sticker Bambi. bushes. Bambi. There's Bambi again. Mm. Yeah. Don't get me. So you wanna you wanna see your little baby? Yeah. Let's pull over here. Let's go see your little baby. Look, it was just born. Look. Look at that little baby. Very cool. Should we leave them alone? No. No. We should leave them alone so they can rest can a little bit. We can go look at some other baby cows. Which ones do you want to go look at? Uh, okay, well, let's go up here. Right here. Mama. I don't know where its mama is. What number is that? What number is that? Number two. Number two, yeah. Oh, there's one getting a drink. Look at that. You see it? Look, getting a drink. Oh, we interrupted. Let's go over here. Look at this one. Oh, there's one taking a break. There's the calf. Okay. Let's head back up to the house and we'll wrap things up, okay? Okay. The video. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. What did you think? Your cow had a little baby. That's good, right? Yeah. That's very good. Thank you for coming out with me. Are you gonna go back inside and get all warmed up now? Yeah. Are you a little chilly? I don't okay, well head out. See you later. Bye bye. You want me to open up the garage door for you? Alrighty guys, so that's it for today. Uh, a bottle calf in the barn and Lincoln's newest baby calf in the field. He has been literally waiting for weeks for that cow to have a calf. I expect a little bit more reaction out of him, but maybe it's the camera makes him a little bit shy, but uh, it's, uh, it's really cool to be able to take the kids out and, and uh, show them new life on the ranch and, and how things progress and, and how animals grow and bottle calves are great for that. It's why I don't mind having them on the ranch because one of our missions is to show people where their food comes from and to give you the chance to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying what name you think we should name the bottle calf. That calf's gonna be around all summer long. You're gonna really get to know it and we wanna pick the right name for it. So leave a comment and then on Facebook, we will have a poll of the top four and uh, we will pick a name for that calf. So subscribe, leave a comment, follow us on Facebook. Thanks guys. Have a great uh, night and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue to 30 and 30 on our Wyoming life.